Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Now we are going to set up a MySQL connection for our project. For that, I am going to search MySQL driver in Maven repository. Searching here Maven. Sorry, the MySQL. This is the MySQL driver. Here I am selecting the Gradle. Okay, copying this configuration. Copy. And now I am going to set this configuration into my build.gradle. Build.gradle independency. Here is H2. I am adding this one in compilation dependency now I am going to import this dependency uh, then I copied that at the MySQL configuration into application.yml okay let's add this MySQL configuration okay in our project here grail app config in config directory you are seeing that application.yml is here but I am not going to change this file directly i am going to add another file for configuration the file calling is application config i am creating a new file config this config file i am going to add the another application.yml here it's i'm copying for my another project then i'm going to describe it okay here i am going to add this uh, configuration file and changing this database name to ocb here you are seeing we are specifying the driver class name that is com.mysql.cj and the uh, database creation is update username is root password non and the mysql connection we can change uh, this configuration directly here but it's not a good practice because in environment or if you need then you can change your configuration here Be because if you if you change anything in in uh, global configuration then it could be problematic for someone or uh, s sometimes that's why I, I, I just changing uh, overriding this configuration with that config application dot yml let's create a database uh, in mysql mysql in this case i am using gem uh, if you uh, not know about gem then please google about gem uh, gem is a cross platform apache mysql php but i am here using only the php uh, sorry uh, uh, only the mysql localhost then sorry localhost then i am going to this is my localhost and I'm going to go to PHP my admin PHP my a d m i n it coming uh, yeah this is the PHP my admin panel I'm going to database creating one database called OCB okay here is OCB is now you're seeing this is the MP database now I am starting the project in uh, debug mode let's see what happened it should be create some of table here okay we created database into mysql now we are verifying the data storage here let's see what happened it 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 will take little bit time let's see is created or not yet the table not yet created it starting we are just changed our development uh, database configuration here uh, lots of configuration for uh, database that is development testing production 
data source is the data source this db created create update means it always create and drop sorry no, create and drop every time and that's why when i restarting this application in previously then my all of data erased this is the reason because uh, here the specify the create and drop that's why it every time created and drop the database it was the h2 database now we are using mysql database let's see what happened here see the database is created and we also seeing our member table in our member table we are seeing this is the default user let's log in ocb at domain.com ocb login here it's successfully logged here if i uh, go to any of my database here uh, let's uh, let's have a look in contact group see it's empty now i'm going to create a contact group uh, name friend f r i n d s friends save let's see what happened here reload it the friend is saved here so we successfully able to integrate mysql into our grails project thank you guys thanks for watching please don't forget to subscribe my channel i was tohit from hmtm csc thanks again